Yes! Didn't spill a single piece of popcorn! Uh, Kian, you did actually, but I cleaned it up for you with this vacuum cleaner. Well, thank you, vacuum cleaner. And thank you, Cormac. Vacuum cleaners are a brilliant invention. Hey, we should do a dance about them. That's a great idea. I wonder when they were first invented. I don't know. But we know someone who will. Auntie, Auntie B. B. I'll go ask her. And I'll just eat more popcorn. Have you been eating toast? Yes, and I've made a bit of a mess, so I'm looking for a pooter. A scooter? I thought scooters were just for riding on. No, a pooter. Ah, a pooter. What's a pooter, Auntie B? Una, show a pooter. Showing pooter. A pooter is used for collecting insects without hurting them. The pooter is a container with two tubes. The pooter user holds one tube over the insect and sucks on the other tube, pulling the insect safely into the jar. On the end of the sucking tube, there's a filter, so the insect can't be swallowed. That would not be good. I did not know that. Here it is. And it's also very good for sucking up toast crumbs. Sucking stuff up is what I'm here about, Auntie P. When was the first vacuum cleaner invented? Una, show the first vacuum cleaner. Showing first vacuum cleaner. How is that a vacuum cleaner? It's enormous. And it's being pulled by a horse. Yes, it was pulled along, parked outside a house, and then it sucked the dirt out the windows into the machine. It even had its own name, the Puffing Billy. I would have called it the Sucking Billy. <laughs> the Sucking Billy. <laughs> Good one, Cormac. <laughs> but how does a vacuum cleaner suck up the dirt? Hey, I can show you with a pooter. Oh. When you suck through that tube, you're sucking air out of the jar. And that leaves a sort of empty space inside the jar. So what happens? Uh, air is sucked into the other tube to fill the empty space? Correct. And as the air is sucked into the tube, the crumbs are sucked along with it. A vacuum cleaner works the same way. Hey, Auntie P, can we have a, a pooter race? Okay, whoever can suck up their pile of crumbs first wins. Three, two, one, go. Oh, great suction power, Cormac. Thanks, Auntie B. You know the way we get our suction power from our lungs? Where does the vacuum cleaner get its suction power? Aha! Uh -huh. Leave it to me. I'm Auntie B. Auntie B! Another mess! Don't worry, Cormac. I've made my own mini vacuum cleaner. And like all vacuum cleaners these days, its suction power comes from a fan. See inside there? Oh yeah! As the fan spins around, it sucks the air out of the bottle 
and as the air is sucked out of one end, more air is sucked in the other end and it carries all the crumbs with it. So that's how suction power helps clean up. I did not know that. Hey, I think it's time for a brilliant, brilliant invention, invention fact. Brilliant invention fact. Yeah! Did you know elephants' trunks have suction power too? Elephants can use their trunks to suck up at least five litres of water at a time. Then they can drink the water or spray it over themselves if they're too hot. Brilliant invention fact! Yeah! Hey Cormac, what would you say if I told you I could use suction power to hold you off the ground? I would say only Keen can hold me off the ground, Auntie B. Well, let's see. When I turn on the suction power, you hold the suction pad against that board up there. Most of the air inside the pad is being sucked out and the air outside is pushing against it and that should be a 